Hello my friends, thank you so so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen and I love all things color. If you love color, I'm your gal. We talk about makeup, skincare and also I love, love hunting for sunscreens for dark skin. That's kind of like my favorite thing to do. So I have like a playlist for physical sunscreens exclusively mineral physical sunscreens for dark skin so you can take a look at it if that's something that interests you so if you love this kind of content definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it so let's talk about what we why we're here and this is my very first time trying chanel anything chanel so I, yeah i don't think i've tried anything from chanel this is, I believe, like a, everything is just like washing out. I'm not sure. So this is called Number One the Chanel. And this is a revitalizing lip and cheek balm. So this retails for 45, 46, I'm not sure, something like that. And everything is just washed out. I'm so sorry. There's this little flower. I think the flower is called Camellia. And the... I believe there are like five or six shades in the collection. This is available on Ulta's website as well. Just FYI, I got this on Ulta's website. Um, I didn't know Ulta carried Chanel makeup. Even Sephora doesn't carry Chanel makeup. I think I thought only Nordstrom carried, but I couldn't find this on Nordstrom's website. So I don't know, guys. Go figure. So this is made in France. This retails for $45. I believe there are uh, like six or seven shades. I picked the darkest one because... This, honestly, I don't think, uh, lately, I, I don't think I have like a cream red blush. So I went with the shade Red Camellia. And this shade, and this flower Camellia is kind of like Chanel's like favorite flower or thing to do, if I'm not wrong. I remember seeing like a highlighter with the same flower embossed in it. So I picked the uh, shade uh, Red Camellia. And let me quickly tell you how much you get. You get 6.5 grams of product. That's 0.23 ounce of product and your ingredients for 45 46 dollars and this is made in france so this comes in a little box and let's see so it says this is enriched with red camellia oil and then it's multi-use balm it can be used for to give a touch up you know like bring color to the lips and cheek and it says it uh, it's nourishing texture melts onto the skin to create a plump appearance so uh, yeah right now I have the product on my cheeks and lips so if you want to see how I created this there's definitely a demo section of the video where you can see how I created this using my hands brush and how it applies and then there's obviously I'm going to talk about the formula of the product so there's a review part of the video and I have another lip and cheek balm that I absolutely adore. This is the Tower 28 Beauties Lip Beach Please Lip and Cheek Balm. Obviously, I compared it. So there is a comparison, there is a demo, and then there's a review. And right now, we'll just quickly take a look at the packaging and we'll do quick, uh, some quick swatches. So um, swatches, demo, comparison, review. There's, there's a lot. Grab a popcorn or something. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. For some reason, it just won't close properly. Okay, it does. So this is what it looks like. Look at the beautiful packaging. It's a Chanel logo. And then that's it's just like a little pot, you know. And beautiful, beautiful, beautiful product inside. I was expecting some kind of applicator to come with it because it's so expensive. And usually I've seen with eyeshadow at least, it comes with a little... <laughs> They might as well not give those punch tip applicators, but still they do give. Uh, but no applicator, just the product. It smells like that luxury, how those like rose scent that the luxury makeup brands have. The same scent is there. Or maybe this is a camellia scent. I'm not sure. It kind of smells like roses. And then at the bottom, it says Chanel on the on the pot itself here and then there's a sticker which has all the information how much you get where the product is made and the name shade of the uh the product so let me quickly swatch this for you and then we we'll, let's get into the demo part of the video so this is um marketed as like a like a bomb right and it's it, uh, it's also like has nourishing oil so that's that's it so not that impressive right 
I wasn't impressed either. When I first watched it, I was like, I was bent on the fact that I'm just paying that these this forty five dollars just for the name, right? Just for Chanel and for the scent and whatnot. I I don't know. It's not gonna be that fantastic. Not like a um like a like a makeup brand which is just making makeup. I don't know. I was definitely skeptical and i think you're gonna have to like see the demo portion and then the review and the comparison to see if i'm impressed or not to be honest i don't want to like so, um spoil the surprise so that's just like one layer i want to do another layer so almost like a translucent product to be honest it's translucent almost and yeah look at that i it, it didn't look like i'm building much right but it is two layers it kind of doesn't look like i'm building a lot so yeah those are the swatches so let's see how this applies on the skin and okay, so let's see what this looks like on the skin right now i just have some sunscreen and i set my face with a little bit of powder so uh, let me quickly show you what i have on my face the powder this the laura geller balance and brighten in the shade deep so this is just like a very very lightweight it says foundation but it's not like heavy duty foundation or anything it's like very, it's barely there to be honest so i just set my um sunscreen with that and let's see what this looks like on the skin and on the cheeks and on the lips on my lips i don't have anything actually i don't have anything so yeah let's see i'm just gonna use uh, my finger and also we'll try with the brush as well so I'm just gonna take a little bit just look at that so glossy right i'm just gonna pat a little bit on the apples of my cheeks that's just that that is nice and like concentrated to be honest i'm just gonna use the that same amount to just all over now it kind of more um gives more of a flushed look than more of a concentrated look right i'm gonna put another layer so yeah this is kind of what it would look even on in fact in bare skin it looked much brighter um so today i didn't plan on showing it on on just bare skin but on bare skin the contrast be, uh, between the bright red and the skin, natural skin tone, was even more contrasting. So it was much brighter for some reason. So that is just with my finger. Let's uh, let me quickly pick up a brush. All right, I have like a kind of more of a. Usually, I prefer like a angled. Sh I don't know, like a, a blush brush that is more like densely packed and stiffer. But this is actually very lightly packed it's not densely packed at all so let's see how how a brush like this picks up product i'm curious oh it, it did oh i'm not sure you can see but it did so i'm just gonna oh good see it's definitely showing up well it's just that's a very this is more um brighter but that's just one layer going in again the brush Yeah, that, I'm not going to lie with the brush, it's more airbrushed. It actually looks so airbrushed with a brush than with the finger. It's in fact more, um, you know, more pigmented, right? With this, this very, very airbrushed look. I really like it. You can even put a little bit on the chin and even on the nose to give like a flushed, like sun-kissed look, I guess. So yeah, I am in love with this product, guys. Okay, let's. Uh, so that is with the finger and the blood uh, with the brush. I want to quickly blend this out too with the brush so that it kind of looks even. Now it looks even, actually. Yeah. And um, let's put this on the lips. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit and just put it. Oh my gosh, beautiful stained look. That's it. That that gives like a very popsicle stain finish. It's not already glossy on the lips, to be honest, because it is a very thin product. To, to to bring out that glossy look, you're gonna have to like apply lots and lots of layers. 
but if you just want that stained look you you just need one layer one layer is more than enough that is it that's what it looks like i quickly want to set my face with my favorite uh, finishing powder which is the hourglass ambient lighting powder because that's something that i always do so i'm gonna grab that powder for doing the finishing powder i forgot i don't have highlighter on which is like absolute must you need highlighter so i just have the uh this is a very old palette from nars the wanted two there's like a very subtle highlighter right there i'm just gonna get some i'm just gonna put right there just right there not here because i want the there just right there just there because i don't want that tones of red to just like go away so let's take some powder all right let's get some powder and swirl and i'm going to set my face with it also so i'm going to sweep it i don't care if it's powder or cream i'm just going to sweep it and how that kind of like brings everything together this is like the magic of the hourglass powder it just brings everything together and you can still see there's a little bit of pigment from the blush left you can still see but i can always touch it up a little bit at the end and i don't think it's gonna like look weird or anything just right there just right there see it's just a little bit of touch up so you guys can see what it looks with just on the finger brush and then before like setting the entire makeup like with the finishing powder and before the finishing powder all those things so um yeah this is the finished look guys let's quickly compare the tower 28 beauties beach please uh lip and cheek balm with a beautiful chanel um lip and cheek balm i guess both are lip lips and cheek lip and cheek balms so i quickly wanted to give you guys a rundown of the consistency and the lasting power and the price and everything of course chanel is expensive this 45 something like that and this is hmm, i think this is 18 or is 20 or something like that it's definitely tower 28 beauty is very very affordable it's definitely like a higher end drugstore brand it's definitely on the pixie beauty pricing l'oreal pricing it's like that but it's available at sephora just fyi i think it's just a whale it's exclusive to sephora but the brand itself overall i love 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 the brand and the look at how much i'm using uh, i use this i i have all the colors and i love the formula because they are kind of on the they're they're not that slippery overly balmy overly glossy kind of a formula it's actually quite uh it's kind of on the stiffer side i feel and this one especially is look it's not very glossy it's kind of like i feel it's like it has a lipstick consistency yeah i love this it's so easy to like apply on the cheek and pat it and kind of like spread it wherever you want and it stays because of that kind of stiff i don't want to call it stiffer formula it's not drying at all not even close to drying but just you know just like relatively speaking it's not like overly glossy and overly balmy so for that reason i absolutely love this formula but oh let's quickly swatch this look how glossy that is it's absolutely glossy that's why i had like a little bit of doubts when i first got it am i going to like this or not because i was comparing it with this product the tower 20 and look at that that's like that's just it's not a lot and it's so glossy and the consistency is also thin it's not as pigmented when you swatch it especially it's not as pigmented as a tower 28 um uh, you know uh, balm but i have to say the biggest difference so so that's like the consistency wise price is expensive of course we, we saw that in the consistency wise this is more thicker and kind of also on the stiffer and it's more pigmented it's more opaque when you swatch it and everything even, even on the cheeks when you put it you it's more opaque but this is very very translucent to be honest it's basically a translucent kind of a product and more glossy and more balmy but but the most important part is for some reason the lasting power on the chanel one is much much better 
then compared to the the, the Tower 28 Beauty. I honestly feel this is a cross between a balm and a stain more than like a cream blush. You know what I mean? It's more like a stain. Uh, so I gotta say, lasting power on the Chanel is much, much better. Um, I, I already kind of blotted my face with my hand. So if I again blot it out, you can still see that little bit of stain there. I'm not gonna lie, the, the lasting power on the Chanel one is really good. This is more like a true cream blush. For, for a cream blush, the lasting power is really good, but this one is more like a balmy stain. So there is slipperiness and this super ultra glossy look, but at the same time, the, the stain is there. It's translucent on your skin, but the stain and that flush look just, it, I think the, the, the balmy stain formula just beautifully works so, so beautifully for a beautiful natural flushed kind of a look. So yeah. That's kind of my quick comparison. So let's head over to my review part of the guys, video. Let's quickly summarize my thoughts and give you guys a quick, quick review on the product itself. This is my first product from Chanel, as I said, um, and I really thought I was paying for the most part, just for the price, uh, sorry, for the price, just for the name Chanel and it's a luxury brand. It's a brand just for the name, but I gotta say after using and actually putting it on my skin and everything, they really, I mean, I have to give credit where credit is due, right? They're, they've done an incredible, incredible job on the formula. And I gotta say, even when I swatched it, even when I touched my, the part my, in my fingertips and when I swatched on my hand, I wasn't that sure. I was like, honestly, I did not like it. I was like all for, all, not, not for it. I was all against it, you know, it's like, it was already in my brain like i'm paying mostly just for the name but no the product the formula after putting it on my cheek and after realizing this is a balm and a stain together it's a hybrid of a stain and a balm the product the consistency of the product is so thin it's barely there but that pigment the actual color of the product which is like basically a red this might be the case because this is a dark color so i that's again a disclaimer i want to put it put out there i'm not sure if this is this fantastic for lighter colors or not maybe uh but this is such a bright bright red and this is so it packs a punch even on my skin tone and i'm positive it's gonna look nice and bright and vibrant even on deeper skin tone it's such a bright 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 red they have not really um fallen short of the pigmentation and the vibrancy factor you know what i mean so i think it's you just barely need it need a lot of product but it's it's basically a stain guys it really is i just put this on so um this is a bomb right so i want to like pat my hands and take away the balmy look because it's pretty glossy but still you see the actual pigmentation, the red uh, blush is still there, even after I just basically patted it off. Look at that, that stain, it's it's basically a balm and a stain hybrid kind of a product. It's incredible. I gotta say, um, on my lips, it also looks good. I did like a very like a Korean trend where I didn't like put a lot of product along the lip line. You see my lip line is pretty bare. Uh, I just put some product on the lips. Um, it kind of clings to the dry patches, but I guess I can get away with it because the color is pretty dark. But if 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 it were like a lighter product, it's it probably might really, really be obvious. So if you have like a lighter lip color, opt for, and if you like opt for a lighter blush, maybe it would like match. But if you have a darker lip color, pick a color that is, pick this i would say if you have dark skin and deep dark skin definitely consider getting the red so all in all i really am like so thrilled about the lasting power especially given the fact this is like a very very thin balm it's a very thin balm or should i say it's a balm stain right it's a very thin balmy stain and the lasting power is incredible i love it's i think it's beautiful for bridal makeup if you want like very very simple but beautifully flushed cheeks you can touch up so so easily it's really really good and you know i use my fingers so much it didn't stain my fingers at all look at that it didn't stain the fingers but it it stains where it's supposed to and doesn't stain where you don't want it to you know 
so it didn't stain my fingers or anything um and i gotta say it also lasts well on the lips because it's a stain it's like a very barely there stain it doesn't wash away or uh, wash away it does wash away if you wash it away obviously but it doesn't like wear off like a lip gloss would or anything like that i would i i put this on for a few hours i, I didn't like eat and drink or do anything like wipe my lips off or anything like that i just put this on when i was like playing around the product and then i just left it off for like five hours or so and this kind of popsicle stain stayed on the lips i'm thoroughly impressed by how the long lasting power of the product and 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 at the same time it's balmy and it's moisturizing it's fantastic i'm really really thrilled but uh just one little thing usually if i love something i like i love to go out and buy more but i'm not sure if i would go buy another shade because it is a stain and when you kind of actually uh work the product into your skin it kind of like gives a flushed look it just basically what it does it brings a little bit of color to your skin tone right so i don't think buying many shades would and unless you're like a makeup artist like i think you just need one color because it's not gonna look that different on the skin you just need one color and i think i'm so so happy i got the red so all in all it's a two thumbs up a plus formula i'm just so it's 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 a pleasure to use a product to be honest i'm not gonna lie it's a pleasure to use this product uh, a plus product so yeah that's kind of my review and thought on the product what do you guys think did, or did you enjoy do you consider buying this product um so yeah let me know down below in the comment section and it's time to say goodbye and i will see you guys very soon bye